freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you're okay. Today I have my daughter with me. I don't think you can see her at the moment, but Lexi? <laughs> Lexi? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean no? <laughs> I have my daughter with me. Um, she, she's nine years old. No, you're 10. I know you're 10, I just wanted to get you to talk. You're 10, aren't you? 10 years old, she's on half term. We've got a motorbike behind us. And uh, I had my youngest daughter with me yesterday uh, for half a day. And I got my eldest daughter with me today for the whole day, haven't I? You having fun? Yeah. Yeah? We want to turn right at this uh, this junction so we can't actually go yet. Um, but yeah, it's half term for you, isn't it? What time did we get up this morning? 5.30. 5.30. It's early for you, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, it's perfectly normal for me, but quite early for you but you did you got up you set your own alarm I heard your alarm go off you got up all by yourself got dressed all by yourself and come in the toilet and brush your teeth didn't you wow. yeah <laughs> yeah anyway we are in Epson right now we are loaded with the flatbed trailer we've got two deliveries to make this morning then a collection um, early afternoon and try and get that delivery off in Oxford later on today that's the plan uh, I can't see it happening to be honest but we will see we will try our best um, long story short, it's been booked in in Oxford between 12 and 3, and I don't think I'm going to get to Oxford until after 3 o'clock. I don't think so. We, we will see, but I can't see it happening. We, we obviously, we try our best. It's half past 8 in the morning now. We are just around the corner from our first delivery in Epson. I think it's called the Old Moat or something. It's a garden centre. I've delivered here before. We've got six pallets coming off, so it's not going to take too long. There's only six pallets on the back of the trailer. Um, trouble is they said they won't take me until nine o'clock so yeah we're, we're arriving just after half past eight but i don't think they're going to get us in until nine o'clock this morning so might be waiting a while once we're in we've got to go to well once we're in when we're tipped we then got to go to new molden we've got 25 bolt bags of topsoil and then from new molden i think we'll be there for a while because it's a builder's merchant so they're not the quickest so i think we're going to be there for an hour or so and then from there we've got to go to h and h in i can't remember where it is it's a TN postcode, sort of like 6 o'clock, maybe 5 o'clock, if you look on the M25. Um, and then that's got to then go to Oxford. So we, we will try our best. We'll do what we can. Uh, the first thing we've got to do is get this delivery off here in Epson. <laughs> so we stopped at the service station earlier to get some fuel for the truck. Also, you wanted to have an all-day breakfast sandwich, didn't you, Lexi? And you saw the dog and you were like, I want the dog. So we got a nodding dog head. <laughs> <laughs> you find it funny, don't you? Yeah. I've, um, I've seen these other, like, bouncing things. I'm saying it, because it's funny. Don't. It's like a woman with bouncing boobies. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen them. I'm definitely going to buy one. It's, it's just a woman with a bouncing boobies. I like boobies. Right, we're going to go left here. And I do believe, yeah, we've got to go up to the next roundabout and then it's just on the right-hand side. But we're going to have to park on the road and wait on the left-hand side of the road until they open the gates. Last time I arrived, I've only been here once before, but I remember, I think I did a video as well about it. As soon as I arrived, someone actually turned up, so... But I'm pretty sure I arrived closer to 9 o'clock, whereas we're a little bit earlier today. As I said, it's literally 8.35. Well, yeah, it is 8.35. So, um, we're quite a bit earlier than nine o'clock. There we go, it's just this place here on the right. 
I'm going to turn some beacons on, some hazards on. Wave the cars behind to go. Yeah, the gates are locked. The gates are shut. There's no one in yet. Actually, there are, there are people in. Just toot my horn to see if someone can see it. Or, sorry, hear us and see us and open the gate. They might do. I think someone's coming to open the gate, Lexi. That's good, isn't it? If we can get straight in, that's, that's a Brucey bonus. Yep, six pallets to come off. We've got all-purpose peat fee, uh, silver bark, pine bark, silver grow with John Inns and silver grow John Inns number two, whatever that is. Morning. Indicating right, we can now take up this bit of road, just wait for the vehicles to be clear on the other side. I know my seatbelt's off, technically I'm doing a manoeuvre right now, so all legal. Turn the truck round, and then we reverse on back up there. You're just enjoying yourself on your phone, aren't you, Lexi? Yeah. You gonna jump out? You can jump out if you want. Yeah. It's nice and quiet. Pardon? <laughs> You're staying here, it's nice and warm. It's not too bad outside, Dunham. You are? Nah, you'll be okay. I think that'll do there. You can see where we turn around the front. Hello. I'll go get the with him. Yeah, lovely. It's just the six pallets on the back. It's just the six pallets on the back. Right, let's go get the straps off and um, then we can get the pallets off. See in a bit. Right, we're just doing the straps up now. Right, we are here, we're getting tipped. We've only got six pallets to come off. We're taking one off and uh, yeah. So we've taken the straps off. We had to manually roll them up because uh, I don't know if you realise or remember, but on the last, on the end of my last video, I said I was here and took a few days off work. That's true, I did. Someone else drove my truck, we got a new guy starting, and uh, I think they've lost, um, it was either him or, or boss's son, has lost my strap winder. So, um, yeah, get, got, I've, uh, I'll get my words out, I've had to order a new strap winder, um, so I'm having to do it all up by hand today. And, uh, yeah, also, I just had to completely take out all of my straps in my, uh, in my in my side lock on my trailer this one here that's where all my straps go because <laughs> they've just you know like when you've got your own way of doing things they just they weren't right <laughs> so out they all come and in they all go again restack the way i want it so yeah anyway five more to come off shouldn't take too long then we're gonna head straight to new Malden. let's go scare my daughter let's go let's go scare her truck by the way is absolutely minging like i said i've not been driving it someone else has um but it needs a wash big time Big time. Anyway, let's get her. I don't think she's seen us. <gasps> What's she doing? Hey. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah. You on your phone? Yeah. Yeah? Do you, <laughs> do you not want to get outside and have a little walk? No. No? Why not? Well, I don't want it. Okay. I love you. Love you too. Thank you. Right, we jump back in the truck because we're not needed out there now. Um, so yeah, there's Lexi. Oh, are you happy now? <laughs> um, you do realise the next place we go to, yeah. you won't be able to get out. Yeah. 
the place after that you won't be able to get out either. Yeah. So just so you're just so you're aware, this is the only place you can get out and have a little walk. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Made it clear. Don't ask to get out later. <laughs> um, the next place we're going to, like I said, is a builder's merchants. It's quite busy. I don't like the idea of uh, walking around. And the place after that, there's there's their health and safety mad. There's no no way they're going to let a kid walk around the yard. So uh, yeah, never mind. You are in your phone. You got your phone and your tablet, ain't you? Yeah, and your tablet. And my tablet. Because <laughs> I got internet on my tablet, and I. What are we gonna name the dog then? I don't know. Maybe honey. Honey. <laughs> I said yes. <laughs> Lovely. If I, I'll have the white one, yeah. yeah. And then, Ben, thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Right, that's the first delivery made then, Lexi. First one made. On to the second one. We'll be at the second one for a bit longer because we've got to take the net off, uh, roll it up. There's more straps to undo. And then there's 25 bolt bags. So it, it will just take longer in general. I estimate we'll be there for at least an hour. That's what I reckon. Gotta try and get out of here now. And now we can get out. Luckily that van was turning right into the garden centre. So here was my blocker. Right, 20 minutes to the next stop then, Lexi. Okay. Are you excited? Yeah. I can hear the excitement in your voice. No? Okay. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah. You, you're enjoying yourself? Yeah. Do you want to tell your face? <laughs> you're so moody. You've got to be smiley. What game are you playing? What game are you playing? This game. What's it called? It's called Dress Up. It's called Dress Up Game. Okay. Right, so I want to answer a couple of questions that I've been getting in uh, recent videos. So, people, some people know, some people don't. About my eye, some people say, oh, it looks like it's bruised. Some people say, is it playing up again? So, obviously, you know what's the matter. Uh, but for those of you who don't know, essentially, um, I'm currently in the process of trying to find out what's wrong with my eye. <laughs> um, it's nothing... It's nothing mega serious. It's just basically, I got very long eyelashes, and um, of of recent, it's not too bad now. But of recent, my eyelashes literally go into my eye. It's like a almost like an ingrowing hair hair nail hair hair ingrown toenail. That's it, or an ingrown hair. But it's like going into my eye. <laughs> so I'm constantly rubbing my eye, which then makes my eye swell up a little bit, bruise, so on and so forth. So I'm, I'm trying to get it diagnosed and try and figure out what it is. Essentially, it sounds like a joke, but they think I've got something called floppy eyelid syndrome, um, which is basically uh, an excessive elasticated um, <laughs> eyelid. So I might actually need to get surgery done and get a, a nip and tuck on my eyelid just to like lift it up a little bit. No joke. Um, but I am being tested for other things just to see whether that's the cause. So yeah, basically, um, all because my eyelashes are long and it's going in my eye, basically. We just need to get it looked at and uh, make sure it's all okay. And then um, go from there. The other question is sunglasses. I always get asked what sunglasses I'm wearing, always. And um, I, I wear three different types. So it depends on which video you're asking on, um, but I will go from cheapest to most expensive. So. For the longest time in my videos, I always wore Melon Optics sunglasses. Melon Optics. Now they specialised in um, like ski gear and like skiing and snowboarding and stuff like that. So they're they're goggles for like really bright environments. They're really good sunglasses. They're still around. Melon Optics, um, and I think they cost about fifty quid each, something like that, for the sunglasses. Really good. I use them for the longest of times, and I still do now. I don't know. I don't know if I've got a pair here. I literally just pick up any random pair of sunglasses, and then take them to work. 
Um, I believe in my last video I uploaded, it's a bit tight here. In my last video I uploaded with Lapland, I believe I was wearing my McLaren F1 um, Renegade sunglasses, which are from Sun God. Now they retail at about £120. How am I going to get past this? I can't get past that without going on the curb. Is he moving? There's, there's, there's no room for me, mate. I can't get past you like that. Yeah, Renegade F1 glasses. They cost about £120. Um, and they're sort of like the orangey coloured ones, because obviously McLaren's orangey coloured. And then the final glasses I wear are, are these ones. These are the ones I have with me today. These are my Ferrari Ray-Bans which I actually purchased um, when with Scott Andrews, uh, Kev T and Trokajenko. Did Jay go? No, Jay didn't go. We went to, did Jay go? I can't remember. I don't think he did. But we went to, I'm sure he did. Yeah, he did go. We went to Norway or Sweden. It was Sweden. And um, Jay definitely went. And I got him at the, the airport. Uh, Scott got a pair of Ray-Bans as well. And I think these retail for about 170 pounds. 170 pounds. So they're the three sunglasses that I wear. Melon Optics, um, McLaren F1 Renegades from Sun God, and Ferrari Ray-Bans. There you go. I get asked in almost every video what, sun what sunglasses I wear, so that answers that question. Right, anyway, let's crack on. I will see you when we get there. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. So this is the one thing about London, yeah. traffic. Wow. <laughs> oh, you let me laugh. You didn't have to come with me today if you don't want to. No, I... You want to? Yeah. Just so you can spend all day on your tablet, innit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can come off now. Yeah. yeah. Lexi, off. Can finish, finish off your game. Like I said, I don't mind you going on your tablet, but you've got to uh, have a little look out the window as well, like, see the world. Wow. wow. Oh no, we're going to go under the bridge. Are we going to fit? How do you know? That's right, car, you just pull out. That lorry there that's coming down this way, you, you looking? This lorry here comes from the place we're going to, so that's a pretty good sign. There's one less lorry in the yard to worry about. It's half past nine, so I reckon they'll have a few lorries in there. We've got a cyclist on our left-hand side. Just keep an eye on her. Right, you want to take a right-hand turn up here where Audi is. Start indicating. Is it busy? Is it busy? Is it busy? I don't know. I think when um, people flash you, they assume you can just go straight away, but it takes a while for the 
Lloyd decide what gear it wants. You're welcome. Cool, beacon's on. I don't see any lorries, so this is potentially a good sign. We're just going to park up on the right-hand side here. So vans can get past us, and we'll have to go and have a wander down and see if anyone will tip us. See you in a bit. Right, we're getting tipped right now, and it's actually rapid. We're getting tipped really fast, straight in, net off, straps off. We're being tipped already. Uh, we're not going to be here very long at all. Splendid. Right, that's that tipped. We have been stationary for... 24 minutes, not long at all. That's a very quick tip. Let's put the destination into our sat nav where we're going next. I like to pre program it so it says a recent destination Seven Oaks Drive. Let's go. So we're an hour and ten minutes away from Seven Oaks. Just got to get out of this yard. Which is a pretty tight re reversal manoeuvre. Looks good, first time. That'll do. Thank you very much. Goodbye. See you later. Right, hazards off, beacons off. Let's put, put your <laughs> windows up. Your window, rather. And we've got a uh, construction lorry here. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go. I don't want to yabber on too much i'll see you when we're at the collection points in a bit right we are a couple of miles away now from our collection points i'm hoping we're going to get loaded quite quickly we've we've done all right today um compared to my um predictions of how long it was going to take to do stuff today we're about an hour ahead of schedule uh, and that hour is going to make the difference when it comes to making the delivery in oxford um so as long as we're not here for more than an hour we'll still be an hour ahead of schedule. Um, we're going to be there about five past 11, so yeah. I am hoping we're going to be out of here by 12. We will see. It's a little bit narrow, that bit. Because um, I think it's a good two and a half hours to, to Oxford, I think. Um, plus we've got to get a break in as well, so. Yeah, I'd like to be out by 12, and then we can get there for three o'clock uh, in Oxford. I'm going to... I'm going to assume, I don't know if I said, I'm going to take a guess and say I'm going to a builder's merchant's and I'm going to say it's going to be a Travis Perkins. Um, that's just a pure guess. And I'm going to say Sandy Lane as well. I, they know me quite well in Sandy Lane, so it'd be nice if we go there because they'll, uh, they'll, they'll be more inclined, I think, to make an effort to get me tipped quicker because they know me. <laughs> so uh, that's, what that's what I'm going to say anyway. It might be completely wrong. This is going to be a, a nightmare to get around because traffic's building up behind us now. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, take a left at this roundabout. You can normally see when you get close to H&H because &H, there's a lot of smoke going in the air normally. I don't know what it is exactly. Yeah, there's chimneys over there and smoke coming out. 
don't know if you can see on the camera, but I can see it. Yeah, it's like smoke coming out over there, look. I don't know what it is. I guess it's how they make it, I don't know. There we go. H plus H. This is what we're loading with. Right, we are finally being loaded. We've been here for ages, haven't we, Lexi? Yeah. We are we're finally being loaded. And I was correct, we are going to Oxford. Um, sorry, I knew we'd go to Oxford. We are going to Sandy Lane, Travis Perkins, which was a pure guest. Um, and that is where we're going. Uh, good bunch of guys there. Um, they know my channel. I've delivered there loads of times with loads of different product over the years. Um, so fingers crossed we can get it off today. Um, if, <laughs> if we left right now, we would be there at 20 past two. Obviously, we still got to be loaded. We still got to strap up. Still got to get a paperwork and we've got to crack on. Um, but it's going to be, I think it's going to be gone three o'clock before we get there. So they might actually not tip us. We'll have to see. Won't we? Won't we? Yeah. Not a lot we can do. Um, we were ahead of schedule. We've been here, um, what time we get? I think we got here at 11. So we've been here well over an hour already. And we're only just starting being loaded. So that is what has messed us up today. Um, but it is what it is. We will do what we can. To say what they could have done to this sign? Put a please They on could it. have put a please on it. Manners, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And then you were saying, what's all that smoke over there? Well, I don't know. We're loaded. There she is. <laughs> we're loaded, we're strapped up. We've got to get a crack on now because uh, ETA is five to three. Uh, I just need to take my trousers off, hoodie off, high vis off. I'm hot. <laughs> Let me just show you the load quickly. There you go, so you can kind of make it out. That's what we're delivering. We're on our way to Oxford. Uh, we should make up some time, hopefully, because we go faster than the sat nav things we do. So we're aiming to be there before three. So let's get cracker lacking. No. no? Okay, well, we're going to get going anyway. See you in a bit. I'll see you when we're there. What do you think, Lexi? Do you think we're going to get tipped? No. You don't think we were going to get tipped? No, I don't think so. I reckon we will, but they won't be very happy. But also equally, they might not be very happy and then decide not to tip me anyway. <laughs> let's take a left typically it started raining as well just as we arrive and i'm gonna have to get outside and do straps and whatnot so that's nice we're clear Come on, let's get me tipped. Dash cam has fell off of the screen again. Right, you do it you there is a truck in there as well. Ah. One of their own trucks are in there. I don't think they're going to tip me. Let's have a look. We'll try anyway. One of their big Arctics are in there. On. We're going to go right, then reverse back. Do you know what? Do you know what that Lexi? That's a good idea. We'll just, we'll just do a spin a Rooney in here, yeah? I say he's messing around with reversing, and it's actually probably a little bit quicker as well. Good thinking, Batman. Wow. What? Batman. You're Batman. Batman. Da -da 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 Batman. Beacons on. Yeah, mind your own, darling. It's in the way of my mirror. Right, <laughs> let's see if they tip us. I'm already getting looks. Already getting looks. Do you reckon they tip us? Nope. Let's have a look. Right, you stay here, darling. Thing is, it's Luke C in a HDV. <laughs> we told this company 
happening we weren't having these today till Monday. My boss apparently rang up and said it can be delivered. Yeah, no, no, that's what I'm speaking to now. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah. Me and his shoes. God, because I know that I sound with Tiffin today, but obviously if you send an email to them, once you say no, don't send them, otherwise they'll have a shock on the turn away. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, it's appreciate it anyway. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll start getting the straps off. No Thank you, guys. Right. Guess what they said? They said no. But because it's me, and they know me, they'll tip me. <laughs> it does... Uh, it does... Uh, bode well sometimes to make YouTube videos, doesn't it? So, anyway, I need to get the straps off. See you in a bit. Thank you, mate. Appreciate that. No worries, mate. Right. Anywho, we are tips. Let's turn the light on. It's getting a bit dark out there. So we're going to turn the LED light on. Right. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's very nice of him to tip me. So if any of you are watching from Travis Perkins, do appreciate it big time. They were going to tell me to get lost. <laughs> but um, I've been here, like I said, I've been here loads of times. Oxford's a local branch. I've been here loads of times over the years with different products for different companies. And... Uh, yeah, a good bunch of guys here. Appreciate it. And forward we go. Cheers, mate. Give a little toot. Lexi, do me a favour. Is there anything coming on your side? Any cars? No. Because there's a bit of a blind. You got wet. You got wet. Welcome to my world. I've got to unstrap and everything when I go out. And we're clear. Anyway, we've got two options. So, option one is we go to um, Chep in Swindon and get loaded. We can make that. Uh, ready for Monday morning. Which sounds, which is probably what I would do. Option two is to go back to the yard and, and load Monday morning at half past four in the morning, which would mean I need to get up about half past three in the morning leave the yard about four in the morning but you don't want to go and get loaded tonight do you nope. you've uh normally you enjoy yourself but you've been moaning a little bit today that you want to go home so should we go get loaded no why not it is getting late it's uh i mean but if we go straight back to the yard it'll be half past five whereas if we went and got loaded tonight we probably won't get back to the yard till six maybe seven uh, well, yeah, probably be, probably be seven o'clock tonight. And she did wake up at half past five this morning, so... So that's been a long day for you, hasn't it? Yes. Yeah. I mean, by the time we get back to the yard at half past five, and that's assuming there's no traffic, that's a 12-hour shift, isn't it, for you? It's a long day, so... I'm just going to have to start a little bit earlier on Monday. Uh, so be it. So be it. Anyway, that is going to be the end of today's video, so thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, sending you all my love. Thank you for watching. And anything you want to say to the viewers? Uh, no. No, okay. <laughs> we'll say bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. That's what you get. That's what you get from my uh, from my ten year old. You're acting like a teenager, and yeah, more and more. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Till next time. Drive safe. Stay safe. I will see you soon. Bye bye.